Uh, the repair shop team are sharing some of their secrets from inside the barn in their lovely new book. It comes ahead of a very special royal episode of the show. So we can take these items back to the barn and then you guys can have a better look at them. And then maybe you might join us at a barn. I've got a barn, you've got a barn. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a barn dance. Yes, we can have a barn dance. Right. I'll put the kettle on. Yeah, will you? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> will you take care, sir? Thanks right. a million. No, thank you. But my barn's bigger than your barn, <laughs> <laughs> I imagine was the next line. What a moment. Welcome to Steve and Susie. Susie, you're not, you, you can't be with us in the studio today, which is a shame, but it's lovely to have you on the show. Now, that moment for you, Susie, you weren't in the room there. I bet you've never, he's never, he's never shut up about it, has he, your brother here, <laughs> about being in the same room as the now king? <laughs> well, obviously, it's been a huge, huge privilege for the for the repair shop family as a whole and uh, very, very proud. And yeah. to see Steve doing what he does best, I mean, obviously, as his sister, I'm very proud of him. Well, tell us what that was like. I mean, what a relaxed atmosphere you managed to create. This was obviously when he was Prince Charles, not... The king. It and... was. It, it was nearly a year ago now that we, we went up to Dumfries' house um, to meet the prince. Um, and after meeting him and spending time with him, it was so relaxed. And what an intelligent guy and cracking sense of humour. Uh, I'm so proud to have him as, as our king now. Wow. And what were you doing for him? So you were up at Dumfries. What did he want you to repair? Uh, so, uh, Kirsten had uh, a Weemsware uh, pot to, to restore, which was really quite difficult. And, and I a had... A pot belonging to...? Um, it, it was a part of the, the, the Dumfries house. Right. And I uh, repaired this clock. Um, I say repaired it. Um, it was a, a, a bracket clock, a complex clock, um, and it was a real challenge. And did... The king then explained why these things were important to him. Uh, yeah, so they were some of his favourite items in the in the, the house, Dumfries house. Yes. Um, he, he actually collects uh, Weemsware as well. And, and what's also, Weemsware? Sorry. Uh, sorry, it's, it's, it's the pot. Is is a Weemsware pot, uh, a special make of pot. Wow, incredible! And how did you manage to be so relaxed with one another there? Because there is a formality to being in the same room as royalty. Uh, absolutely, uh, and we were nervous before he came in, but as soon as he came into the room, uh, he just, he's got this air about him that just made us all relax, and, and it was just as if he was uh, a friend uh, that we'd just be talking to. Just, it was just a lovely, lovely time. And is it right that, you know, some of the minders, you know, who were there looking after the prince, or now the king, were sort of just... To you guys, just remember he's, you know, was it getting almost too pally at one point? Oh, I did get very pally and, and, and Jay, he's, he's a very touchy-feely guy and, <laughs> and, and uh, I thought, oh my word, you... but, but it didn't matter, it, it was so natural and normal. Wow, how wonderful. Susie, we've got this wonderful book, of course, and we've got that royal episode that uh, your brother here is talking about. Uh, the book's brilliant because it really delves into each of the experts and, and what is their favourite moment, why they're in the business that they're in. Just tell us a bit about you, because you have a royal connection too, don't you, with leather? Well, yes, I mean, I, I did have the privilege of working on... Um, her Majesty the Queen's side saddle when she used to do the Trooping of the Colour. And um, that was that was really a big deal for me. I was in my early days of training. But uh, the um, the connection of horses and, and myself and leather and being able to come into the barn and work on the other people's items is, gosh, what a lovely life. It is. And, you know, you say that the repair shop being on the show, it came from your brother being having had the call and thinking it was a scam at first, I believe. You thought this can't be real. I, I did have the email come through and I don't trust anything that comes through. Quite right. <laughs> um, and, and my partner, Mel, um, said, no, 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 it's not a scam. Uh, it, it, look at the phone numbers. They all weigh up. So, um, and we contacted them and... And there and the you rest go. Is history. And then, of course, Susie, you were like, hang on a minute, mate. I'd quite like a little <laughs> go at this as well. Tell me a bit about why the repair shop has been so important for you in your life. Yes, well, um, when Steve was first on the show, um, I was packing down my life in America after living there for 22 years. And um, 
So I just gave this comment, well, if they need anyone to work on leather, I'm a gal. And, and he ran with it. Um, and thankfully, they, they embraced me and brought me into the barn. And uh, it actually has been personally very healing and helped me get reacquainted back to life in the UK, having been gone so long. Well, and also having some personal um, problems in my life. And it's, it's a brilliant, brilliant place to spend your days. Well, it's a healing programme in many ways. It, you're healing the items. You're healing the emotions and the people who bring those items. And you've got some favourites, haven't you? And it's, as you say, and I was reading the book, it's never about the value, monetary value of the item. It's Absolutely. always about the emotional value of the item. Yeah, the, 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 the monetary value has no place in the barn. Yes. It's, it's all to do with the sentimental, emotional attachment uh, that people have with these items. And yes, I, I, I've got lots of favourites, um, and, and some of them are in the, the new book. Give us one of your real favourites, then. Um, it, well, the lightning machine was, was uh, a real favourite of mine. Uh, nothing to do with clocks, uh, but it was a historical important machine invention um, and I was working on on this amazing piece and I got it working and that's the wonderful and and just a quick one from you Susie your favorite in a few seconds if you've got if you've got one well, there's, there's um, a beautiful saddle uh, that was made in Canada and uh, the nice thing is is the grandson got in touch with me who's followed it into the family um, uh, trade of making saddles and he gave me a lot of history behind yeah. it and he also mentioned that one of their clients was um, Edward, the Prince of Wales, who wow. then became King Edward. It's incredible. I know you've three generations of clockmakers in, in the family. I mean, it's such a wonderful show. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Uh, the new book, The Repair Shop, Life in the Barn, it's a beautiful book, it is out now. Thank you to both of you for being on the show this morning. You're